Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're going to continue to work on um, implementing uploading um, photos and um, my goal is to successfully upload one photo today and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Last time I got a bit sidetracked by looking in, into what the right solution is, right? So we're working on this thing here. Um, yeah, so first of all, we have to um, implement use drop zone because we want to open a file directory to choose a file, right? So that's the first thing we have to do today. All right. Yeah, I'm still tired, like this week uh, I have to write exams, which I'm not too hyped about. And um, yeah, I also worked out, which doesn't help. Um, all right, this package has been depreciated. So I don't need this, all right. It looks like that um, I can just um, upgrade the version, I think. So let's try this. Let's go to package.json, react drop, drop zone. So, so we have 4.2.12 and 11.5.3 is, is the current version. It looks to me like this is going to break, um, which is sad, but then we have to fix it. Save and um, let's start everything up. All right, awesome. Um, I kind of want to see the output. And we have to start anyway to install the, 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 the dependencies. Like, man, I can't even talk straight anymore. Like, learning for exams is not stressful, it's just bullshit. Just bullshit. Okay, false recreate. Because, like, all I'm doing is like watching old lectures and um, writing comments and notes and then transcribing them into like these cards and then learning these cards for hours on end and feel so damn unproductive like uh, yeah but what can I do all right let's make this window a bit smaller Okay, it installs stuff, which is great. And then we can look if this still works. All right, so this is now missing. We only have these arrows here. Um, yeah, which is fine. Um, oh, wow. Damn, we got an, we got, we got an error. Directory watcher, no module named directory watcher. Fascinating. Uh, all right, views. Directory watcher. Do I, oh, okay, I see. Save. Retry a sudo. I still don't know why. Okay, awesome. So now it complains in upload button. So open is a void function. So that's interesting. Um, so the first issue we are having is that um, we want to get like the file name, path, whatever, and I put this into the form data, I guess. Um, So let's check this out. Um, let's go to React Drop Zone. Oh, 
open a link file dialog programmatically. All right, so that will just work, but I should get like files, right? So how the hell does that work? No click, no keyboard and um, all right, so we have this variable accepted files. That's fun. And um, all right, then we will just do that. And uh, we will use accepted files instead. See, it's way easier if you like had like some time to step back. Um, so what the hell are we doing here? Uh, so it's just all right, so we're printing down the files as a list. So if I choose like a picture, for example, then it has like a list there. Okay. I got it, I got it. All right, accepted files any, you know, he complains it isn't any. So. I have now to do this, I guess. All right, so now for each we will have a file and um, yeah, well, that's a file. So we can name that as a file and now I will see what we actually have in, on this interface. Dot Go to definition. Last modified name and WebKit relative path. Yes. Okay. So I want file dot name. I don't know why that is an issue. Argument string is not assignable to parameter of type photo. Uh, yeah. All right. <coughs> So we want to push like obviously a new photo, which is a name and a content. Very cool. And I have to have like brackets here and save. And what we want here is a file. So what else do we have? So in URL, uh, a file name, yes, and a file type. Uh, okay, we also have a type, that's cool. Um, that's not preview, that's WebKit relative path, I guess. All right, and then we get a promise of a file. Promise file is missing the following properties from type file. Uh, but why? <laughs> like that's a file? I, I don't get it. Do I now have too many files? URL to file. Do I even need that? Don't know. So we should have the actual file here, right? Like maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it looks good. Hmm, that's easier <laughs> than I thought. All right, so now we have a bunch of photos and then, then we can upload them. Okay, 
and somehow it has something to do with farm data. A lot of question marks. Um, yeah, so save. And uh, somehow the front end doesn't want to recompile. Fun. Um, yeah, upload photos, click. <coughs> we currently just posting all the images. Um, Axios send images question mark all right here's the way i got this to work properly i had to make sure user and object form data okay json content type modified form data boundary data dot boundary interesting and then Data dot append. Okay, that sounds interesting. So we now have, in order for that to work, <coughs> to create a lot of form data, like one form, I guess. Yes. Then photos for each, append photos. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe I can simplify that and just use it. Hmm, so. Um, the first part can be a name or a value and the last uh, thing can be a blob file name all right hmm that's interesting so we now have the content but we don't only want to have the content we also want to have the name so maybe I can just do file dot name hmm The issue is now that we can't upload a file with the same name, I guess. Interesting. Anyway, um, file, file, file.name. Okay, that's also possible. Fascinating. Like, it's really intransparent for me what this thing actually does. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess we can then just do that instead. File and uh, file. Don't need that any longer. Uh, all right. And then I guess I put just form data here. Oh no, it wasn't named content, it was named something different. File. I guess just file? I don't know. Okay, I just call, named it file. Cool. And then we put form data here. And now we go to photo section. And um, we now have images here, which is technically true. It's just read within the form data. Ah, I see. So the on startup, on basically NPM start, it crashed. So I guess I have to restart that. Um, fish, cd, view photo docker, and force recreate. All right, so now we have a bunch of form data, um, and they're named photos, 
which is also interesting. I think what we can now also try, uh, or at least look at, is um, in the settings page, like we have here form data two. Ah, okay, so we called it avatar file, and then we have the first name and the avatar PNG. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. I don't know why I didn't, I wasn't able to program that last time. I guess my brain didn't have any capacity. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's starting. I also have to check if this still works. The drop zone. But I don't see anything in red, so it has pretty good backwards compatibility, I guess. Um, yeah. Everything is compiled. That's really awesome. Okay, now ch let's check out if it crashes. It loads. It loads. It crashes. Hey, obviously. All right, all right, all right. Let's give me that uncaught type error. And the above error occurred in drop zone. Uh, okay. Use the default value or value props on select instead of selected in options. What the hell is happening? That's always the downside. Um. <coughs> Let's go to settings. All right, I don't I don't think that I need URL to file any longer. I don't know why I needed that back then. I'm not sure. I will put a couple of question marks above, above it. So let's check out drop zone. So I will click drop zone ref equals node on drop. So just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Where is it there? Oh no, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Ah, that's probably something different. Okay, copy. Okay, now it's working again. All right, so drop zone really really doesn't want to work why okay type error in children children is not a function The above error occurred in drop zone component. Use the default value or value props on select instead of setting selected on option. Okay. Children is not a function. Interesting. As the error message says, Dropzone is expecting a render function, but you didn't provide it. Ah, all right. I see, it's now a hook. Right? 
So All right, let's copy that in, and then I have to do this, I guess. And uh, also this. Five. And now it's working again. Yes. Amazing. Can I choose an image again? Oh no, just does nothing. Then it, <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. No. <coughs> kind of feel that it isn't working. <coughs> uh, I will put a to-do behind it. <laughs> no. Oh man, uh, please don't do screenshots, thanks. Um, to-do. Fix this. Uh, okay, where's this diff going? All right. Um, yeah, now I want to just test the upload button for now because I'm already 23 minutes in. Don't need that any longer. Okay. Yeah, don't know. I think I will now add the upload button to the search bar uh, because there it's visible. So let's see, custom search. And then we go to search. And then I will add upload button. All right, now we have an upload button. And it did not open anything. Uh, upload, upload. Nah, upload. Okay. Um, so let's see. I wanted to use open, but it does not want to work. Hmm. Curious.
Because I kind of don't want two buttons. I mean, that is the easy solution. And if I now have to hack something, I will do it. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Previews, okay. Disable preview property. Mm, no, not interested. Class component. If you're still using class components, then do this extending drop zone. Pintura image editor. I just want to click on it, that it opens a folder and then uploads it. Don't know <laughs> why this is so complicated. And uh, the drop zone would still be nice, but I just want that it directly works, right? Maybe that's like a function and use drop zone that I have to override. So, event propagation, auto drop zone, drop zone without click, aha. Click events, okay. Yes, like that, like why would you, without click events, okay. It's not rack events. Stylizing drop zone. Accepting specific file types. So that's already something we can do, I guess. That's what that works for now. No click, I don't know. I kind of want to click on it. Um, maybe I don't need that any longer then. Yeah, anyway, so we just sent undefined <laughs> to it, which is not fine, uh, fun for it. Um, right, okay, except comes into the drop zone itself. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, let's see. It still doesn't open it. Ah! I hate that. No click true. So, I guess what it wants me to say is that that, that would work. No, it still does nothing. Why? Oh, all right. I, I still have to define a drop zone around it. And I think I don't need actually button, an icon is fine too. And uh, this is then... Like this. Okay, let's try again. Uh, all right, and I have here an icon, and it works, amazing. Very cool. Um, all right, now I will check if it would work when I... Okay, I will save this for now. Somewhere. works going back 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 yes all right and then I will get this one back still looks the same and uh, I will paste this
Okay, it still sends immediately after we opened the file dialog. Um, everything. I have one photo in it. They still get a error. All right. Let's check the error. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, upload. Big image. All right, network. Let's see. So now in preview, we have an attribute error. Bytes object not has no attribute content. Ha ha. Interesting. So it now complains that it gets something different than it expects. Um, and I guess we have to see now an upload view, upload photos, what we said that it gets. So we just expected, what did we expect? We expected like a bunch of photos, I guess. But we got something else. All right. Let's see payload. Photos binary. It's just binary. Mm, okay. Maybe I have to do this multi part parser thing part yes. okay maybe that will work All right, so we're definitely sending a multi-part form data. So that's, I guess, the correct parser class. And now I just have to import that. Yep. All right. Only need, uh, I only need that for now. We try a sudo. So now it should decode the binary data to something else, um, which could have been the error. Bytes object has no attribute content. Multipart.
You're only uploading a single file. You shouldn't be iterating over the file key. What's that? Okay, let's pick that. That looks slightly different. Reboot. Okay. Let's see. Upload. Did anything happen? Okay, I don't actually get how I handle the form data yet. Okay, so I have form data append. To object. Django Right, so we use, we use a multi-part form data, I guess. Um I don't know, maybe, maybe we, we don't like um, write it the right way. So it's just photos to post, photos upload. Okay, form parser and multi part parser. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Views. Um, let's import that too. Okay, let's see. Do you now do what I want? Okay, still red. Still bytes, object has no attribute content. All right. Um, Axios. Send images. Okay, I will override a couple of headers, I guess. Um, photos or actions. That looks wrong. All right, it's in post. Let's go back. And 
that's also a object all right save so now we should like um, put it the right way so we have to reload here um, not sure what else could miss could be missing let's do this upload type error non object yeah okay that was just a non object that's fine too okay uh, upload by its object has no attribute content god damn it like it's just not working as i want to mm. Data dot file. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. Still does not work. Okay, no, that also did not work. Um, So photos is just binary data and I somehow have like to get it back to the original form. But it does not want to do that. So these are currently like the files with, I think these are the files I could write just to anything what I could try because anything because that works way more way way more often than I thought let's decode that Argument should be a bytes like object or ASCII string, not an in memory uploaded file. Hmm. Um, Django multi. When Django handles a file upload, the file data ends up in places placed request.files. For more on the request object, see the documentation. All right.
Okay, so most of this I already do. Right, so we tried it the other way. So just to write photos request dot files and then photos. I think we already tried that and that didn't work. Come on. So it rebooted. Oh. And let's click. Oh man. Bytes has no attribute content. But why do I have to do that if I usually don't have to do that? Um. That's super weird. Um, I think I will now look at the function again because it somehow feels strange, right? So we have update, update avatar. And that's a neutral action. So all we do is like we send to the server a patch with the form data and then it did work. Um, not sure. I will try a couple more things, but otherwise I will skip this probably for today. Because again, I'm a bit tired. And if I'm tired, I can't find bugs at all. Like, not possible. Uh, Byte object has no loaded image. Django needs a content file, usually to do. I got the same error that is solved. I would suggest you to open that file and read more and then save it. Django core files, okay.
Hmm. It's also like a very cryptic error, right? It's not like that straightforward. So let's see. Upload images, photos. Um, right. So this is binary no matter what. So I can again remove that. So now we have the photos and it's a binary file. If we go back here. What did it say? No, why did you reload? Please don't. So, response. Okay. No. I don't see it here, but I did saw something here, I guess. During handling of the above, another action error occurred. Uh, yeah, sure. Bytes object has no attribute content. All right, but we are already all the way down there. Oh no, we are, we are up here, okay. That makes more sense. So photos is now obviously like one binary object and not multiple ones. And we now somehow have to binary to photos. Yeah, I wish that that was a f thing. Yeah, no. I don't know. Uh, I will look into it in the next couple of days, I think. <coughs> I mean, I, I did make progress, so it's fine, it's fine. But sadly, uploading still does not work because by its object has no attribute. I mean, let's Google it one last time. Form data. Do not your Allen code headers. Okay. Bias object has no attribute read. Hmm. Very weird. Um, yeah, so w what we now actually did is that we now have this very broken upload button. 
and if we click on it something opens and sadly it uploads uh, and at the same moment we open the thing which we don't want we want to do it like in order but I think we will just listen to the accepted files and if they change send the upload command like or something like that it that doesn't that isn't too much work I guess yeah all right but like this error is like very not specific and uh, all I can think about is that somehow that isn't correct but I don't know view decoded view URL encoded doesn't want to make any difference anyway uh, thank you for watching I hope next time I will be a bit more awake um, if you like my work you can subscribe to the YouTube channel you can leave a like um, you can also sponsor me on github sponsors which which uh, helps me out a lot and uh, if you found a bug leave a comment all right see you next time bye